Went off your back. No harm done. Perhaps. But then take no help to us neither. Besides, why do you care? You as nanny or something? Let him pass. I'll pay his toll. Ah, knew it! It's his nanny! Seemed a warrior for a bit. Now why is a bleeding nanny wear swords across his back? Want me to show you? I can still change my mind. Calm now. No need. Coins there, so let him through. And who's paying for who? That's no concern of ours. Thank you, Elder. I shall say a prayer for you at my pilgrimage's end. Nice gesture, thanks. Now, where's your pilgrimage taking you? To the four faces of Hemdal, raised in honor of our great hero. I've heard the legends of Hemdal, a great warrior and first father of the Isles. His trade? And before the advent of Ted Dare, the final age, he shall return, walk amidst us, and face the evil powers, demons, and specters of chaos. The golden cockerel Camby will crow to warn Hemdal of the coming of the Nargle Fair, bringing the army of darkness. A battle will ensue, Ragnarok, and Hemdal will clash with the forces of the dark. Let's hope he wins. It'll make no difference. The prophecy is clear. After Ragnarok, the world will end. Prophecies can be tricky that way. And there's never an ending that's not also a new beginning, a fresh start. Let us hope you're right, Wanderer. Let us hope you're right. What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. He prays at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. He's praying? Wouldn't have thought him a God-fearing man from what I've heard about him. Mm. Yet it's not something that would surprise any man who knows him. Another snoop. You know the drill. Keep together. I'll watch you die with Oh! Ah, kill him! Ah! 
of the sea. I've never begrudged you no gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offer and let me loot. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? Heard you were in Keridan's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spit it out, you arse-licking bastard. I'm looking for Yad Keridan. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Keridan. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing gills. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! the grill will take it.
Crack me damn leg in two. Stop whining, Peter. I'm ashamed to hear it. Pull yourself together, man. Worst case, Henrik will whittle you a wooden leg. Old Ola's got one, and you don't hear him complaining. Old Ola's also got lice, stinks, and leaks out of both ends. Yet he don't complain about that either. You two gonna help or no? Need a medic or a droop. How do you feel? Same as before. This celandine should help you. Won't mend your leg, but it will make it hurt less. Thanks. Our undying gratitude that gets you. The gratitude of a dying man in my case. Enjoy it while it lasts. Shut it and show me that leg. Thanks again. Gods guide you. Come on, Roach. Come on now. And whichever one of you will fight best, I'll get it. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Got their nest here. Let's go. Then nothing. Never you mind. This here's a job for a witcher. As you wish. 
What's the problem? A beast. It attacked me. Me and my comrade. We'll gut the fucker. Aye, but not us. The Witcher. Why bother the witch man? Like as not it were a pack of wolves. But they got you so afeard you shat yourself and sore spectres. Let me round up a few sturdy lads and we'll... Won't be needed. The Witcher will help, right? You shan't let us down. Feral folk, dumb as stumps. Fine. What's this about? Tell me. Me and my mate were on our way here to Fearsdale with a cart full of hides. Suddenly we heard a screech. Our horse got spooked, started kicking, and then monsters jumped out of the bushes. My mate drew the short straw. They got him first. By some miracle I managed to get away. What kind of monsters? Nekuks. No doubt about it. What? You know, sharp claws, animal skulls on their heads, attacking swarms. Neckers? Yeah, neckers! Near 20 of them. So will you help? Will you kill the bastards? That road needs to be clear. Aim to travel it again soon. I'll help you. Grand! Knew a witcher wouldn't let me down. Not like some waffly prick from Clan Drummond. Or Clan Drummond. Good luck, witcher. Fare you well. Wait. Where should I look for you? What? Once I finish, where will I find you? Oh, oh I, I, um, here. I Meaning in the tavern nearby. I'll await you there. Fine. See ya. As if, as if something was tearing me apart from inside. <sighs> Maybe you're not ready. They said they're her. Need to look around. Must be the comrade of the fellow from Pharaoh. Hmm. Odd. Looks like he died of old age, not because a necker ripped him apart. Gashes like claw marks in its flanks, but it's also got lockjaw and a warped spine, like it might have died of tetanus. That was no accident. Better investigate. Furrow looks fresh. Boulder must have rolled through here. Boulder started here. Think I see some tracks. A necker. Must have waded through mud before arriving here.
a necker's foot, hollowed out inside like a boot. Someone lost it while running. The plot thickens. Necker paw and a human foot, small like a child's, clearly running. like this. Looks like the work of a child, or someone who's damned clumsy with a quill. Huh. Two sticks protruding above the shoulder. Think that might be me. Is that a wagon? And here's where that boulder almost crushed me. Necker tracks near the boulder. Now I know where they came from. Just wonder who actually left them. These balls on sticks are Endragas. Guess they were supposed to finish me off. All in all, a pretty elaborate plan. And this must be the meeting place. Huh. <laughs> Looks like this whole ambush was a group effort. High time I met the pranksters. A necker, torn apart by something huge, then someone cut its legs off. Must be the place. You can come out. I've seen your plan. Besides, I can hear you. One of you's wheezing like a broken bellows. Another's panting frantically like a deer caught in a trap. And the third should really take something for that throat. I'd try time extract. Someone care to explain what's going on here? What's going on is that you're down there, a where up here. That's a situation I can fix quickly. Richie thingy no gum gum. The bloody witchy thingy swoop man. That's right. We've caught you. You're at our mercy now, and we're none too merciful. Oh really? Fact is, I could just turn around Bloody and... Bloody Richie thingy, gum gum, shut kid. Well, smooth, mate. 
I wonder why he's not already in the shrimp. You were to kill him. <sighs> what? We never said nothing about killing. Not a thing. We were just supposed to scare him. So witchy thingy us scary thingies. Make him no touch us. I believe you misunderstood. <sighs> He's a murderer. Like the rest of them. Like the one who killed my Adali. <clears throat> Awful sorry about your wench. We all are. A doubler. But this witcher didn't kill her. And we can't very well punish him for another's crime. He has much to answer for, too. <sighs> I heard he killed a Korid in Tucson. But he spared a golden dragon. So what? What about Verena? The Bruxa with the fondness for blue roses from Nazair. He showed her no mercy. <sighs> Verena killed many an innocent. I had to do something, but I've helped monsters aplenty. Yes? Who? I spared the troll named Whamawam, though I knew he'd killed some miners. Holy no! Make Yama Yum Elfie swoop, and uh, Yama Yum Sis is. Don't make me laugh. That's not nearly enough. <sighs> Not so long ago, I spared the life of a Doppler in Novigrad. He was stealing food for the Scoia'tael. Letting him go cost me a hefty bounty. I'm grateful. Not many of us left. You see? He's not that bad. We should let him go. Let him go? No! So he can track us down and butcher us? I won't hurt you. I don't kill sentient creatures. You lie. Every witcher is a murderer. Ah. I kill monsters, true. It's my job. But only when they threaten humans. You hate us! Hate us all! Humans hate you all. Because they don't know you. Don't know which of you are dangerous and which want to live in peace. Only witchers stand between you and humans. We know both worlds. Protect both. We kill dangerous monsters so the thinking ones can live in peace. So you say now, as you stand there, scared. You know we have the upper hand. Ha, ha, ha. You don't. Could have killed you all long ago if I'd wanted to. I believe him. We should let him be. I'm all for it. To my thinking, he's telling the truth. Let witchy thingy go. Ah, fools. Gullible as newborns. A just witcher. A kind witcher. A lying witcher. He fiends it all. All humans lie. Let it rest. This is not the way. You shan't bring Adalia back. Ah! Stay here. I'll finish this alone. Ah! Let him talk us into this. Here, a little something from us, so you'll remember not all monsters are dangerous. Thanks.
God's bless and reward you, Richard. Though I can give you only a modest gift. God's bless and reward you, Richard. Though I can give you only a modest gift. said you were a hero. Dumbly beg your pardon, but I'm in quite a predicament. See, I'm I'm a wandering juggler from occupied Tamaria. Tamaria? You sure? Not Novigrad? What? Why Novigrad? No, no, I come from Malibor and. Uh... You're not cut out for this line of work. Memory's too short. See, we've met, but you were a respected Novigrad merchant who wanted desperately to get home. Oh, but but I assure you, I. All right, all, all right, you got me. I, I know this all looks bad, but I, I swear I, I'll pay you back, mate. All of it with with interest. Just please, don't don't take me to the yard. Definitely won't get my coin back if I turn you in. But try to cheat me again, and I'll find you. I'll find you, and I'll. Yeah, I ain't lying. Besides, you can go to the yard any time you want. Then I expect to see you later. You know, not in the mood for a roughhousing today. You know, not in the mood for a roughhousing today. Oh! I hope it keeps to a drill. Oh. 
Run, Roach. Come closer, stranger. Hey, you! Any last words? Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Brand those swords, but I prefer we trust the axe. Come on, Roach. It, Roach. So fast, Roach.
Thank you, White One. You're not one of us, but you sure fight like an islander. How's it you came to Skellige? Long story. Got something to take care of here. As we all do. Me, for instance, I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? Pirates took her. But I'll get him in me grip and squeeze. Regret their mothers ever bore them as they shit themselves. Nowhere to go. Got any clues? These two here, before they pounced on me, said their captain had set sail for Hindersfjall. Karisu were on board his longboat. Hope you find her. Listen, if, if you come across those pirates or see Karisu anywhere, tell her to go to Blandair. Tell her to go home. Got my word on that. Farewell. survived. The priestesses of Freya would have tended to any survivors. Only ones around here with any notion about medical care.
Go, go. Come on, Roach. Looks like rain. Stay with us one more week, Chris. I know you feel better, but you're yet too weak to embark on a journey. Welcome to the Temple of Freya. I'm Kirisu. How can I help? You're Kirisu? I Ran into your brother. He's scouring all Skellige for you. You know him? Truly? How is he? Fine. Mentioned some pirates had kidnapped you. It was the most horrible night of my life. I remember fire, cries, and the clink of iron against iron. They herded us on a long ship toward dawn a storm broke. It was mayhem, so I took advantage and jumped overboard. Sisters Astrid and Dalla found me on the beach, near dead. They brought me to the temple, watched over me. I owe them my life. You were lucky. Very. True. As soon as I get back to Bland Air, me and my brother will make an offering to Freya. And I thank you for your help. Take care now. Oh, no. Whoa. Faster. Seeing right. Greetings. Saw your notice. Huh. And they said, where you hang on that? Ain't no one else gonna hunt that beast. But I showed him. Any idea what kind of beast this is? Oh, you hear all sorts of things. The wenches clean the nets, blather about costches and manticores. But I reckon that's hogwash. We'd seek the counsel of Freya's priestesses, we would. But how can we when we can't get to the shrine? And nobody's gotten a glimpse of the beast? From a distance, even? Oh, they have, they have. Right close. Closer than boot and strap. 
Soon after, their blood spattered the underbrush. Near from the start, no ordinary man could handle the beast. But Svera insisted, mustered a crew, and... Only four came back. The rest massacred east of the village. So, will you help? I'll tend to the monster. Not your first, that's clear enough. Not like our lads. Heads full of fire, but not a morsel of thought between them. The four survivors, where'll I find them? Aim to talk to Sphere. Maybe it ain't a bad idea. They're sitting over there by that hut 